how to turn this video to an epic hyperlapse. Hey guys, my name is Arya and welcome to my channel. We are in Premiere Pro and this is our footage. We right click on the footage, choose the replace with After Effects composition. The After Effects software comes up. This is our footage here. In the right tab, in tracker, we choose Stabilize Motion. We adjust our point in here on this clock and remember, the part you choose have to be visible in the whole video. We press play. The software is keyframing every move, except this part. This is because the shaky footage and we have to adjust that for ourselves. So in here, we open up these tabs until we get to the keyframes. We delete these keyframes and adjust frame by frame manually. Now that the footage is no longer shaky, we again press play. And every time the point is the part that we want, we have to adjust that manually, like that. This is our tracker. Look at our footage. Right click on the footage and choose pre-compose. We check the second part and we hit OK. Now, in effects panel, we grab warp stabilizer and put it on the footage. Go back to Premiere, copy the footage that we are having, right click and choose nest. After that, we scale to our footage until all these black parts disappear. Then select the footage, hit Ctrl R, 5000 speed, might be okay with that. Choose the footage, hit X button and on sequence, we hit render effects in to out. This render out our footage for faster playback. And because we adjust the speed, we have to nest the footage again. After that, on effects, we grab warp stabilizer and put it on our footage. And this is our video. Okay, we duplicate the footage, we reverse the second footage by Ctrl R and choose the reverse speed. We duplicate some more and nest these two footages together with higher speed. And this is our video. Okay. After that, on project, right click, new bin, and adjustment layer. We create an adjustment layer, put it on our footages, and in the right tabs, in the Lumetri color, we color grade the video. And this is before the editing, and this is after. Alright, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all next time.